I'm gonna go through a number of tips and tricks and also highlight some ways you can debug your installation if you have a problem with uh, connecting all these devices. And one of the most basic things you need to make sure is that they are on the same network and they have different IP addresses and you know the IP addresses. So um, this is uh, basically some generic information. I'm now gonna take the USB cable and connect to my ATEM switch and this allows me to open the ATEM setup utility. And it looks, um, it has an icon like uh, this, on a Mac at least. So uh, we open the setup utility and if, this, if the um, USB cable is connected, you'll see information exactly like this. I'm now gonna unplug the USB cable just to prove the point and then I'm plugging it in again and you see instantly it tells us this is the IP address of the ATEM switcher. And this is in fact the default IP address that the ATEM switcher has when it ships from the factory. So we didn't change that and we are sort of assuming that you have that same IP address for your ATEM switcher. So when you receive your Skorhoi device, it will usually be configured to communicate with an ATEM switcher configured as it is from the factory. Unless of course we have made any agreement otherwise. So we have a confirmation the ATEM switcher is working and uh, we still don't know if the ATEM switcher will actually respond to any uh, connection because this was with uh, a USB cable. So therefore I'm gonna open the terminal. Terminal. Thank you Quicksilver. All right. So uh, what is this geeky stuff? Well, the terminal is a command line interface to your Mac. So what I'm gonna do now is write ping and then the IP address .240. And what we should see now is that every second you see that a request is sent to the ATEM switch which responds back quite quickly telling us that it's actually reachable on the network. Now this also confirms another thing in fact, it confirms that my, my laptop which I'm using through this interface is uh, also on the same network and um, maybe it wasn't. So if you have a Mac at least you go to your network settings, you see it's connected through Ethernet, I have a uh, manual setup connection and in this case I use an IP address like this one which is on the same subnet and this is just the IP I chose and the mask and no router apply and then my Mac is also on this network. So um, those things can be good to just make sure and then of course finally as uh, you may have seen in some of the other videos for the Arduino itself it's important that you enter the correct MAC address right there and you need to enter an IP address of the Arduino itself and then the Arduino also needs to know what is the IP address of the ATEM switcher and as you can see it's the default one which we have just confirmed is in fact the IP address of the ATEM switcher. You can also use terminal to actually check that the Arduino is responding so in the same way as we did before ping 10 and what was it, 99? I'm just gonna check, so 99, yes, 99. So my Arduino right here should now respond to, to this uh, message. And it doesn't, which is interesting of course, um, because it doesn't have power. So there are two ways you can power your Arduino. You can do it with a regular power supply, which is what, you're, um, normally, uh, what you normally use when you operate your your Skorhoi products or you can plug in a USB cable. And as you can see as soon as I plugged in the USB cable it is now responding to my requests because it's powered up. Mm -hmm.